Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is Friday. Happy Friday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going wonderfully. I'm up. Just took Maxine for a walk. She's over there. She's a little stubborn today. Sometimes, you know, she's used to being free in the mountainside. So she just runs wherever she wants. I don't really use leashes that way because I feel like a dog should be free. Well, then we moved to the city. Obviously, she can't be free walking in the neighborhood. So she's learning to walk on the leash. <laughs> I mean, she's good, but she's like, wants to get everybody. And then like today, she just wanted to stop. So she literally just stopped and wouldn't move. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So I had to pick her up a bunch of times. I'm like, Maxine. So she is probably just a little tired. I'm assuming so. I carried her a lot of the way today. It's okay with that. So I'm back and I'm like, let me get my first cup of coffee rolling for the day right here. And then I'm gonna start making some food because today is Friday for the weekend. I don't know, the last few weekends, I feel like I haven't been able, or I didn't do a lot of food. And then we were like ran into the mac and cheese and the ramen and that's fine. That was just the time of my week, but I'd like to make some food. So we have food for the weekend because I'm trying not to spend extra, all those good things. And then today, later, I'm gonna get my food done um, prep it for the weekend and then um, the kids and I are gonna go out today So we're gonna go out. Hopefully it doesn't rain today. It doesn't look like it's supposed to it's supposed to be warmer And we are gonna go check out. We've got a brand new library here brand new state-of-the-art Billion-dollar library. I think it's supposed to be really great So we're gonna go check that out and then go hit a museum today and then it's up by the oceans so We thought we'd stop at the beach up there and then they have a gift card for Miss Barbara from McDonald's So we've been saving it for a day and Brooklyn is off work. So I said let's go out for the afternoon and like towards the evening so that is going to be our fun afternoon so i thought i'm going to get up we did all of our work yesterday i got a little pile of laundry for them to put away this morning it won't be too much and i said let me get up and get food made and then we'll get up and we'll get out the door today so i'm excited so i'm not going to talk too much we're just going to start making food so tonight's at dinner so for breakfast today whatever they want to grab there's yogurt there is they can make eggs if they want there is um cereal and then lunch we're gonna eat out today so i don't have to worry about that and then dinner we're gonna do nachos i haven't done nachos in a long time simple easy we're gonna do freezer refried beans freezer cheese and i'm gonna grow gross raw meat hamburger we're gonna cook that right now heat that up i'm gonna put it in i think i'm gonna put it in the, the slow cooker the long one i have with a little glass dishes and keep it warm i think i'll do that today and we'll have chips and toppings. It'll be easy. That'll be a nice dinner we haven't had in a long time. So let me get my pants. We're gonna hurry up and get done so we can get out the door. I'm gonna just skip that stuff of heating that up. Usually I get my stuff in the freezer and I don't wait for it to thaw. It was completely thawed. So I'm gonna just put it in a, a dish here and then stick it in the um, slow cooker. I'm just gonna do that and then it'll heat it up. Today. Let me get another spatula. This is easy. I was <laughs> I forgot I got this out. Not yesterday, the day before, so it was definitely thought. So then this cheese is the nacho cheese. Or not cheddar cheese, not nacho. Still nice and creamy. It doesn't get clumpy. I'm gonna put that in another bowl. This one is enough for everybody. Funny, you'd think that tiny little bowl would not be enough, but it is by the time everybody scoops in the chips with everything else. So this is good. Cook the meat. Let me go get my um, crock pot. That's like a long one. Let me go get it. We can put these in here. Okay, this works great to heat this up. So I'm gonna put this in here. And then what I'll end up doing is going like this. I know, not the ideal, but this with some tin foil on it will keep this warm. I know, it's good. It's good, it's good for us. So this, I'm just gonna have it backwards here. I was thinking three of them fit in there, but I think that's what I did last time. So I'm just gonna turn on low. That'll heat up right there. It's gonna be good. Okay, that's done. Let me get out my lettuce to chop. It's simple, they like lettuce, some like onion, and some like tomato. So I'm just gonna cut those up and put them on there. I would do like pico de gallo, gallo, whatever that is, but not everybody loves it, so I'm like just chopping up and make it separate. I can always squeeze some lime, put some salt and pepper, I guess, if I wanted to. chopping that lettuce and I'm thinking what am I doing it's not like I'm making this for a salad so I took it all back out and chopped it up real tiny I'm like that was definitely not what I wanted to do in the beginning there. sorry about that okay then this let me add some water
perfect. This is homemade um, taco seasoning. I think I like this version better than the last one we made. It was a little bit spicier, so I'm just gonna put this in here. And then when we, before we leave, I'll put that in the slow cooker so it can just stay warm for us today. Okay. okay. I'm going to wash this pot up because I need it. I'm going to chop up an onion and a tomato. I'm going to put it in these containers with the lids. I know these are venting ones, but this will be a nice lid that stays on. So let me chop that up. I know I have not had my whole cup of coffee yet. I've literally had a quarter of it. <laughs> so, the lettuce I'm chopping up, like, oh, it's big. I need to do it tinier. And then I'm using, like, the meat knife. This is not a vegetable knife. This is not a vegetable knife. This is a slice of meat with. <laughs> so, did this with the onion, and I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing? I have a whole drawer full of knives right here, the proper knives to chop with. So I just made that way longer, and then I'm looking at those little white containers, and I'm like, oh yeah, they're plenty big. No, these things are tiny. They're not gonna fit all that I'm chopping up. It's like a serving. <laughs> so, <sighs> drink more coffee here. Chippy, <laughs> it's all good. So I've got that, I'm gonna cover that. The nachos will be done. Got the chips over there. It'll be an easy dinner tonight. We'll also serve that with salsa and sour cream. And then for the weekend, what we're gonna make this weekend is our ham dinner. This one, did I get this at Sam's? Pretty sure I got this at Sam's. Yes because it was $22, remember, because I thought this is boneless, and I thought that's crazy that that's boneless. So we're gonna try and see if it's any good. I bought a couple different, I think I got that carving ham, and that was really good, so we'll see if we like this one. I'm not gonna cook this today, because um, tomorrow I'm gonna make like all the sides, and then tomorrow I'm gonna heat it up. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator outside, because I'm running out of room. And I'm also going to, since this ham is here, I'm thinking the size of it wise, I mean, I guess it is a little bit bigger than I thought it was, but um, I think that what I'm gonna do is take some of the ham off and then make like ham skillet with it. There's a couple dishes that we haven't made in a long time. So I thought, well, but Greg likes to have it with macaroni salad. So he also likes ribs. So I took a thing of ribs out. So what I'll do is smoke the ribs and the ham on the smoker, and then that way there'll be plenty of meat and he can choose wherever he wants. Cause the kids and I will eat the penne pasta with the ham. He'll eat it too, but I don't mind making them ribs because we have them. So these are going to go out in the garage refrigerator. Then we'll start on all our sides for the ham dinner. So for the ham dinner, we're going to have a lot of sides with it. I wrote on the refrigerator what to make tomorrow because I'm going to come down tomorrow and I'm going to come down. I'm going to come out here tomorrow and be like, uh, we don't really need that or uh, I don't want to bother doing it because I'm going to get pure lazy tomorrow. I'm going to want to take a day off and not do anything. So I wrote down exactly what to do. One of the things is beans. So I will leave our baked beans out because this I will just put into a dish and put in the, in the oven. I have a list in the fridge and it has ham and ribs on the smoker and then I put cheesy potatoes, this, and sweet potatoes. Maddie and I are the only ones that like sweet potatoes. So we'll put this into the oven and then I'm going to make macaroni salad and deviled eggs as well. I'm going to stick this over here. I've got a pasta boiling for the macaroni salad, and over here I'm gonna have deviled eggs. I'm gonna try to remember to time it this time, because last time I think I made the hard boiled eggs and I didn't even time it. They didn't turn out too bad, but eggs are one of those finicky little things. <laughs> sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So I'm gonna take this right here. This is a cucumber, get the proper knife, and then I'm just gonna chop it up into this bowl right here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of onion and a little bit of egg. It's not something, usually that's what we put into it when we serve it. Craig only likes cucumbers, and he's really the only one that likes it. There's a couple more that like it, so just chop this up and put it in here. I took out one egg and peeled it. It peeled pretty well. So the problem with egg, the water, let me show you. In Florida, <laughs> your water 
never truly gets cold cold in the winter like right now it's not I, like the other day I noticed how much warmer the cold water is it's not cold so I know like rinsing the pasta making stuff cool is really hard and in the summer forget it it's impossible so <laughs> ice is good our ice machine okay it, it makes it all in the back of it if I don't pull that ice forward it stops making ice so I know where I'm gonna go out today I'm gonna need that ice and so I don't want to use the ice in my ice machine so I pulled out all of the ice packs that we have I'm gonna stick those I'm gonna fill the pot apart take out the water put at least lukewarm water it and put the ice packets in there I don't know to cool it down because that's I think my option right now because the water is just not cold it's not freezing that's something I do miss the mountain water was frozen this is not I mean I don't miss it because I like warm but when you're cooking you need cool water I'm not sure if it'll keep the water cold enough, but right now it's just warm. What are you gonna do? That's what you got. The same thing with this pasta. I'm gonna have to try to get it to be cool, but this water is like lukewarm. <laughs> There's, well, it helps you keep it on cold. But even the cold is not very cold. So I'm just gonna try to do my best to rinse, let this sit. Just checking my water over here. Okay, the noodles aren't smoking anymore, so I feel like I can add <laughs> So for macaroni salad, it's just this. We're having a ton in here. And Miracle Whip and salt and pepper. That's it, I just put a little bit of onions. I like to use green onions because they're not so harsh in there for like flavor, but I just added a little bit. This I keep just switching out. I think it's gonna work for making it cold for now. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to use up all my ice cubes. I don't wanna use up my ice cubes. So, but I put in here, um, I was wondering, I'm like looking, I'm like, is my light on today? It is not on. I need a little bit more light in this kitchen. I'm gonna add this a little bit of Miracle Whip that I have right here, and then I have a whole new container. So we will just put this in. Yes, it uses a lot, but it's delicious and light. I'm putting them in Ziploc bags because I don't have the space in my refrigerator right now. This refrigerator is pretty much full. The one out there is full because we've got a huge box of eggs, tons of milk. So everything's kind of jam-packed right now. So I'm gonna put in bags because I know I'll find space that way. I peeled my eggs and didn't show that at all because I was highly disappointed. Highly disappointed. I'm like, oh my goodness, I used to do it in my pressure cooker. And then I, I, I believe the key, I know they say fresh and um, like um, like more older eggs peel better or whatever. But I remember putting it with like an ice bath and literally it would get so cold. And it probably didn't, yeah, it actually didn't all the time. So I remember doing Lauren's um, little shower thing or whatever and I had to do eggs and I totally failed on that. So I guess that's not the case, but I don't know. I feel like if it, the ones that were a little bit cooler were the ones that peeled a little bit better. So this is my theory. And let's see if I remember this next time. It's just that I'm in a hurry because we want to get out the door. I think that next time what I would do is cook them and then let them try to cool them out here as best I can and then put them in the refrigerator. Keep them in the shell. Let them get cold and then peel. I don't know. Hopefully I remember that next time. I probably won't, but I'm hoping to because failure I feel like. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> it wasn't like ice cold. It was colder, but it wasn't like ice, so it's good. It's good, just keep moving on. Okay, the next thing we're gonna make is, forget, we'll do the eggs in just a minute, I gotta get into something else, is cheesy potatoes. These are delicious. We love them. I love that I can make them a dairy-free version, or lactose-free, not a dairy-free, lactose-free version, and we love it. It's one of those where everybody has grown to love it, and that's a good thing, because. There was for years where I'm like, oh, these are my favorite and nobody would eat them. And I'm like, oh, these are so good. I can't believe nobody eats them. So what I do for mine, I've got two bowls here. One I'm gonna make for lactose-free and the other one for us. So I'm gonna put in ours, um, I had to put this in my microwave because it was frozen salad. Nacho cheese, canned, or cheddar cheese, not nacho, canned cheddar cheese. I'm gonna put that in mine. For the other one, I have a packet of um, mac and cheese, hold on. 
right here. We got these at the discount store for $2.50. To me, that's a deal because these are normally like five, six dollars at our store. Walmart was selling the, we like the Daya cheese sauce. We were eating the, it had like a um, gluten-free pasta. We didn't eat that, but I bought it just for the sauce. But they did have a packet where you could buy the Daya packet of cheese and it was like three in a box. I haven't found that here at all. But we found a bunch at the discount store. So what I would do is open a package, save the shells for another recipe and put the cheese in there because that is going to make it creamy. And then I also have um, some shredded dairy-free cheese. And I used to have, um, I don't know if I have any sliced cheese. We have some that melts really good. And if I don't have that, that's okay. And then um, a little bit of milk in each one, sour cream. I've got a lactate sour cream for this one, regular sour cream for this, salt and pepper, a little bit of chives, garlic, it's still, and cream of chicken soup. And cream of chicken is lactose free because I make that homemade. Delicious, very creamy, very delicious. A winner. My mom used to make cheesy, cheesy potatoes. Those are like what she's always made. Start, started out when I was a kid, she'd make au gratin potatoes. Anybody else have au gratin potatoes from a box? Yeah, like those, those were good. I still remember those paper thin potatoes. Those were good. And then she started doing her own, cause she worked. She worked cause she was, you know, full-time mom, everything else that was busy. And then she started making her own. And ugh, this was like the requested dish everywhere. So good, so lot, make it creamy and gooey. These are a little bit, these are frozen. So when you go to bake it, it'll get soft too, but so good, lots of cheese. Don't be afraid, add more. So I clean as I go. I got my dishes done. The only thing I left in the sink with plastic um, stuff because they're all greasy. They'll go good in the dishwasher. I just don't want to fill it all the way up with stuff. So this is right here. Okay. We have like a whole box of pasta and that cheese sauce is in the potatoes. They taste exactly the same. That's what I love about those. And then also I need a cheese sauce for nachos. That is either lactose free or dairy free. And I don't know, I'm gonna leave it in the packet because sometimes Jen's gonna like it with um, just the meat and beans and he doesn't like cheese. He might want shredded cheese, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna just put this out and then it'll just heat up and he can put that on his. That'll be easy enough. So I put my tinfoil, you can't see on top of it. Let me show you. Tinfoil on top of here. This works right here. Yep, that's doing its thing right there. The other thing I'm looking is the deviled eggs. I think I'm just gonna do them as much as I don't want to right now. Just get it done. Let me just cut them up, mix it up, because tomorrow's gonna be one of those days where I'm like, eh, do we really need deviled eggs? Yes, you do. So let's mix those up in a bowl. Those did not turn out too bad. They don't, they don't look the prettiest, but I was able to fill them really full with filling. So I feel like, okay, winter, and then I put plastic on and it didn't like smush it down. It's good. So I feel like the ham dinner is gonna take us through the weekend. The other thing is to get my bread machine out, just set it on the counter so I make it. So tomorrow I can throw bread in. I'm gonna do a bread recipe. We're making the same one that I've done ever since we moved here. I love it. I love the bread machine for that reason. So I will take that out. Put that on the counter. I've got a little bit of bread flour to use up, so I'm trying to, I couldn't, my Sam's down here doesn't have it. 
I never bought it before. I saw it at our Sam's in North Carolina, so I'm like, oh, let me get it. So I got it, and it was great. I mean, it's good. It makes good crust, but regular flour does fine too. Maybe it makes it a little bit better, but if you don't have it, you don't know any different. So I'm gonna get that up, put that on the counter, and then it's there. So then I go tomorrow, we have to throw everything in, start the bread, that's gonna be a good thing. And the only thing we didn't do yesterday was popcorn. And I'm like, it's one of those things to get it out and make it, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna get the machine up, put it here, start making popcorn so we have enough for tonight. Um, if I got a few minutes here, I'm gonna do some melted chocolate and put some on. We used to do like chocolate covered popcorn. So I'm gonna get out the popcorn machine and do the popcorn. This is a popcorn machine. Greg has been wanting a popcorn machine forever. Always talked about it. We got one. And so it's one of those things that it's like, it gets dirty. It's fun to have. The kids love it. It's kind of like, wow, we have a popcorn machine. It is fun to have, and I get it. We have the microwave one, Celebri. That is a great popcorn popper. If you, We don't have a great big powerful microwave like we did in the mountains. So I just had, I didn't get one. I didn't get a big giant one because I don't want to, I didn't want to cook with it all the time. I wanted to use it to heat up anybody's food that didn't eat when we ate. But for the most part, I just want to cook on my stove. And so I didn't really want a huge microwave. I just never did. I think even back in the day, I didn't even want a microwave in my house. I just wanted to cook on my stove. So from the mountains, we had a nice big one right there. It worked. So for popcorn, for us, the um, Salbury one was awesome. You get it on Amazon. They are linked below. And, um, and on Amazon, I don't have mine anymore because I passed it along so we don't use it. But you would just put a little bit of coconut oil in the bottom. They say don't put anything in there. Put coconut oil, not the coconut flavor taste one. This is from Big Lots, we'll find. It doesn't taste like coconut. And then add your popcorn seeds. And then I bought this called Flavor Call, Flavor Call, Flavor, like Flavor Call on Amazon. Put a tiny little bit of this in there, or popcorn salt or seasoning, whatever you have. And it makes really good popcorn in your microwave. This has been awesome. We love it. It's just something fun for our family. What I get for ours is I got these. This was a huge, well, actually, no, I don't think those are my huge ones. We did, I had a bag of mushroom, magic mushroom popcorn. It was very good. I had a, I don't know, a 20 pound bag, 25 pound bag my girlfriend gave me and had that for years, years, years. Popcorn seeds last for years. Stick it in your freezer, that worked. And then at a discount store in North Carolina, we bought a bunch of um, Amish popcorn seeds. So I think that might be the remain of it. I also have a little bit more that are like colored ones. That works, but Sam's, I think Sam's has a huge bag of seeds. They used to, I don't know if they do anymore, but It'll last you forever. And then what I got is we bought the flavor call. Flavor call, I think it's called flavor call. Salt seasoning, that works. But we always like the buttery flavor of it. So I went out and I used to buy like the Orma Redenbacher. And then it's like, okay, it's good. It goes real quick when you have a large family. Then I found a bigger one at the discount store, or at the Amish store here. Not the Amish store, Detweiler's. And it was, um, it was good and worked really good. It was just popcorn and butter. Then I went on Amazon and I found at the movies popcorn, butter flavored popcorn topping. Don't look for any reviews for um, healthy wise food because when you go to the movies and watch a movie, you're not looking for healthy popcorn. This is what they use at the movie theater. This setup right here, they use. They use coconut oil, seeds, this with the flavor call. That is the authentic stuff. Is it healthy? Absolutely not, not in the least. But does it taste good? Yes. This will last forever and a day. And so this will be a great mixture for our popcorn.
This is something we used to make all the time before. It's a great, easy way to get, because when popcorn was a, a, a real cheap snack and then we put chocolate on it. I've also mixed in peanut butter with the chocolate and done that. I've done different colored one, um, any candies on top. You don't have to put any candies, but this is good. I did double layers because I was like, hmm, that's kind of small. They're gonna scoop down and grab, you know, most of what they did when they were little is they grabbed the top, forget the bottom, but it's double layered. It'll cool. This will be just a nice, I'm gonna say, healthier snack. Can that be healthy? I don't know, healthier than, say, ice cream, I guess. So what I'm gonna do here is the popcorn inside here, I think I'm just gonna leave it in here. I think that'll be fine for the day because we're gonna eat it and eat it tonight when we get home. I'm gonna take it out though and put the butter and the salt stuff on and put it back in there, just so it stays in there and stays good and then um, they can just grab and eat it. Even though we have the chocolate one, I feel like I want to make more of this. I think I will do a little bit more of this. made one more popcorn than I thought. This will be good because I have two bags that I'll take with us today to lunch in the car. It's always good to have something lunch to find snacks. And then like literally that those two bags were just that bowl. That will go real quick. And that's like a popcorn bag. That goes so fast when you're having a family and lots of kids eat it. So I'll just take make it a couple more in here. It'll be good. I am finishing my kitchen. I've got enough popcorn, feeling good. I tried to get the popcorn butter. I was hurt, it was really hard because you have to push it down, just twist it. Well, it squirts out a bunch of butter, so I didn't get it when I did it in my bowl properly. So I took it out, held my finger under the like the um, straw, and kind of pushed it out with my heart, hand as much as I can. But I still had to push it down more, so it shot out the butter stuff all over the table, all over the floor. I'm like, oh my goodness. So I've got it sitting next to the sink. It looks like it's dripping a little bit. I don't know if it's gonna drip a lot. We'll have to wait and see. So what I haven't done. So I'm finished in the kitchen. I don't have to do any more food. We'll have the nachos when we get home. The um, popcorn will be delicious snack for the weekend. We'll probably eat that up. And if it doesn't get eaten, I'll put it in a bag overnight. I'm gonna go get the kids. They're moving and we are gonna head out the door. So I'll bring you along. I don't know, it might be fun. It looks like rain outside, but I don't know, it said like 15 degrees warmer. So if it's 15 degrees warmer, don't you think the sun's gonna come back? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Crazy winter weather here. <laughs> it's not all sunshine all the time, but it is nicer. So we're gonna go head out and then I'll take you along and film and show you the fun that we're gonna have for the day. Okay, we finally made it out, so that's good. So we're gonna go head into our new library. It's gigantic. They've literally got probably four policemen at the road directing traffic. It's just packed. So let's go in and see. Look just right there, they have like an observation deck. So we're gonna go in and see what kind of fun they got. They got to play with the ukulele band. How fun is that? They've got video games, they've got Oculus. Lots of brand new books. Look at outdoor space. You can sit outside by the pond and you can just like enjoy reading a book outside. How nice is that? Look right here, they have a maker space. Look at, they have sewing machines, all that kind of stuff. Look at, they've got 3D printers. I know, they got some mini cubes. They have like kids outdoor activities all fenced in for kids. There's a water table, sand table. Yeah, that's gonna be really great. This fun kid area. Nothing better than brand new movies. It's always a positive when you have brand new stuff. All right, let's go upstairs. That's beautiful. Living waters. That's that's beautiful ocean. That's beautiful. Oh, there's a manatee. This man made it. That's so cool. An alligator. We made it to the top. Look at that. Big. 
should have made the entire thing. There's a little bit of nature. Wow. It's not Caesar's head, but it's pretty cool. Oh, look at look at its fake pieces of grass. Look at how neat, though. That's kind of. That's this the is, outside area you could chill, so I wonder if you can go play stuff out there. You probably can. That's Do you where, have a drive I don't know. Okay, what a great library. This is a very nice library. I have lots of great anemones. It's awesome. I wasn't sure they were talking about it in there, so how great it was going to be. And I'm like, how great can a library be? Oh, it's pretty great. So, what a great fun thing. We'll be coming here for sure. All right, Jensen, Jensen said, let's take the stairs. So I said, I'll take the stairs. He's going to like run and fly ahead of me. So we're going to go walk down and go uh, see if we can beat the kids down here. I'm sure we will. All right, Jeremiah's ice is really good. Library, very cool. Very nice library. This will definitely be a library that we come to. So now we're going to go ahead and go see what else we might do lunch. We'll see. We are doing McDonald's. Thank you, Miss Barbara. Okay, we got the fun Happy Meals because they had the little chicken nugget people. Remember these? Look at Brooklyn ordered this for Steven and she got the golden nugget. So that's like a rarity. So I don't know. We could sell it on eBay for like $60 if I really wanted to. But does anybody else remember these as a kid? I had a whole set and they had different outfits. It was like Mr. Potato Head. They were very cool. We're welcome to Cortez. We're at the Florida Maritime Museum. Okay, we're gonna do some history. We're gonna do some Florida Maritime Museum. Sharky. And stuff. Oh, look at that thing. Is that like a big, that's a, you guys see the sponge? Look at the nice shells. Horse conch. Oh, we always look for these sea urchins, sea star, sea biscuit. We've seen those, we've seen these. Not a big one, look at the shells. Are they all in here? No, just that one, okay. I love it. Look at, here's the little Cortez. The fishing village, we just watched a video about it. So we had to learn a little bit. A little, lots of boating stuff. Boats and builders. This is a safe, I guess. This was the old nets, right? They were talking about with cotton they used to make them. They were used for gill netting. So that's a little fishing, little fishing vessel. There they are. How they do their dugout canoes is when they take it out of the tree. Look at that. Not want to see that in the water. Is it all different fish? Here's all about Florida's hurricanes. A hundred years of Florida hurricanes. So it's a hundred years of Florida hurricanes tells about all the different hurricanes and the destruction. Kind of cool because they have people are sharing their stories of different hurricanes. Irma, Irma was the first hurricane I experienced after moving to Florida. We packed up the cat and went to stay in a hotel. The hotel lost power, but our apartment never did. Look at all the shells. Look at all this stuff in here. This would be like seashell paradise. Look at that. What's that big number 11? Mm. A coral. Stag horn. Oh, that's the bonnet head shark. Sponges and stuff. That's really neat. Look at how fun all that is. So this... Oh, I guess this tells all the hurricanes. A little bit of water right here. A little pond. I don't really know. Looks like there's a building right there old store but I don't think you can go in it. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's a waterfall. Oh, it's a waterfall. Look how fun that is. That's really pretty. It's Madeline. It's very pretty. Oh, look at the prickly uh, cactus. There's a gigantic cactus. Look at the fish with the weird eyes. What is it? Oh, the fish. That's, oh, and here's some um, aloe vera plants. Look at this little shell garden. That's fun. Look at all the shells in the ground. Look at that, a little sem Seminole chicky. Whatever that would be. The houses. The culture center. Go to the Cortez Cultural Center. That looks like an alligator village back there. I think we'll stay safe right here. Well, let's go this way, it's culture. Oh, this look at all the tiny fish. This bird is so old. There's the alligator pond. Yeah, trust, trust, trust. This is uh, all this stuff. Original stuff, people. Let me show what their houses look like. You also have a... Oh, that's good. That's an old typewriter right there. 
Well, Grandma has a washstand like this at her house. Yes. Okay, we did the little fishing village. This is not sure. We did the Cortez fishing village. There's um, there they gave us a map, but it's like I don't know. I don't think it's very good label, but it's you can basically go walking and then see the old brick buildings like in the town. So I was like, hmm, I'm not really sure. So we're gonna walk down this little bit of a woods here and then we're gonna go head over to the beach because we know that will be very nice. Okay, watch for alligators and stuff. Yeah, are we going? I'm not sure why we're going <laughs> different than bears. So fun day, it's nice out, it's a little bit warmer out and it looks very foggy. So I'll be excited to go to the beach. Get fun, something to do for the afternoon. Like wouldn't alligators live in here? I think if, I think if there'd be alligators, there'd be a sign out here. Yeah, yeah, there's cars. We're right here. All right, we're exploring, but it definitely is like a little trail of who knows. It's sketchy, Stephen says. Maddie and I are going to be brave. What if the alligator jumps over the side, Maddie? I thought he was say saying to that this little bridge, this, I'm not really sure. Like I said, I wasn't sure about the instructions. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe this is where it used to be. I'm not sure where the water was. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, a bunch, a, a bunch of like, like this. what'd you say? <laughs> Betty said what? We need to do more exploring like this. More exploring. Like, I like when we yeah, but who knows if there's an alligator in there and stuff. We're not really I sure, Maddie. Die. You're so brave. There's some crab nets. Mm, yep. Some crab nets right there. There's a crab right there. Okay, we're going to go walking over this way. Look at this. This is where the boats go in. Probably look, look at these pelicans. Look at the pelicans all up here. There's like a ton out here. That's pretty cool. The big old boat right there. Working on. There's your coconut palm tree. <laughs> well, I like a fish village, but very cool. The pelicans I thought was really neat. So now we're gonna go head to the ocean. Look at we're driving and it's like literally all just foggy. Okay, we came to the green turtle shell and gifts. Look at it, it's a pirate. All the beach stuff. All the signs. Look at all this stuff all carved out of wood. Wow. They've just got everything. Very much touristy stuff. Oh, that's fun. That's really cool. I understand. Oh, there's the melted Florida snowman. Florida snowman all melted. There's the flamingos. This is stuff from my house. I'm with you, so it's smart. Love the flamingos. Oh, look at these little. These are little cute ornaments. <laughs> Oh, here's, oh look, here's shells you can just buy. Pretend I bought them on the beach. <laughs> That's so funny. I could buy big giant shells. Look at the nice shells. That's cute. I think it's more fun to find it. Look at all the tiny things. Okay, so many shirts, shirts and everything. Oh, there's like so much. Look at all this. What? Look, these are touristy for sure. Shell stuff. Oh, look at that <laughs> shark. Look at that Jensen. Pink flamingo. I think my parents had one of these as a kid. Wow, that's the alligator head. That's so fun. I think every kid needs one of those. Shell box. Look at those gators. Look at all the shells. Blue starfish. Look, here's real fish. That's so neat. Look at you find your name. Giant sea turtle. And they have everything. Here's the Florida gum. I used to get this as a kid. My neighbor would bring me that. I got some at the one store for my kiddos. Look at shark teeth. Little turtle things. Right. Look at it's got a bite out of it like a shark fit it. That's kind of funny, I think. I'm gonna have to get some wind chimes. Maybe here, some shell ones. Do they, do they even make noise? Oh yeah. Just Greg for some wind chimes. That's cute, the turtle and the things. Oh my gosh, anybody remember these as a kid? For some reason, the metal trays? I remember these as a kid. For, we would get them on vacation. What do we do with them? I don't know. Well, this is a great store. 
That's a pretty beach picture. Nothing really for my kitchen. That's what I was kind of hoping for. They just have everything. Everything's souvenir. Seashells are love letters in the sand. Beautiful. It must be kind of neat to keep your shells in. Anybody else remember these? We have to squeeze to get the rings on. Water games, always fun in the car. Lots of fun. This is like a great store. Squeeze. Squeeze. <laughs> I was just looking at this. Look at it. It's only $10. Didn't we spend like $20 at TJ Maxx? That's a nice variety of shells in there. Hmm. We'll have to uh, remember that. Okay, the shoes are off. We're going to go to the beach. It's awful windy. Mm, let's go to the beach. Wow. Wow, look at that. That's so weird. Look at how pretty. Wow. Feels good. How much fun the beach is. That's great. Only in Florida. Look at that. <laughs>